Munich, 1938, and a young Swiss theology student named Maurice Bavog is on a mission. That mission is to kill Hitler. He takes a seat on one of the viewing platforms, posing as a Swiss journalist, and waits for his target to pass. As the Fuhrer travels down the promenade, he elbows his way forward, desperate for that clean shot, but he hesitates. Surrounding the leader is a flock of SS guards and Nazi officials who obscure that shot he needs. Maurice watches as his target passes along to the cheers of thousands. With no money left and no friends, the police state seems to close in. Maurice stows away on a train, bound for Paris but is found by the conductor and turned over to the Gestapo. In the interrogation room, Maurice's courage gives out and he confesses his scheme to assassinate the German leader. The two officers, likely alarmed, just wanted to know why a foreigner was traveling without a train ticket. Sadly, Maurice Bavode did not last long. Barak's punishment was brutal and swift. However, a monument now stands to his bravery in his native Switzerland, the sacrifice of one man and the shot that he bet his life on.